very true, it's very true, but still you don't I need to worry. I feel safe with you driving. You say Bye. that, like you always say, I feel safe with you driving. And then, all the time when you're in the car, you're clinging on for dear life, you're holding the blooming thing. I just thing. did it then because you... So, we are off into town. So what, what car park were we going again? I forgot now. Um, oh, yeah. it's sorting itself out now, you know, because that thing's on that. Yeah. It's starting to clear up, clear up a bit. Yeah. Um, well, I only really need Sainsbury's, I think. I do need some compost, but I might go out and get that later when we get up. So are you there. thinking Sainsbury's? Will we be yeah. okay for two hours at Sainsbury's? I mean, are you just wanting a quick walk around the charities? Just, well, yeah, I mean, I don't even know why I'm coming in, really. I don't... <laughs> I don't know. I mean, You're I mean just doing the, Hermes. the only thing I need is Hermes. But since you know we yeah. normally go town, I thought we'd go town anyway. But uh, yeah, I'll just have a quick walk around the charity shops then, and then I'll get back because I need. I've got plenty to do at home. You've not got loads you need to do in town, do you? Uh, no, I can't think of, right, of cool. things I do need to do. Um, I, like I said, I just got a couple of little bits. Like, um, I do need to get food. Okay. Maybe yeah. we should get your petrol then today. I'm gonna get petrol today, yeah. yeah. I'm only on half a tank, but... Yeah. Well, I don't know, I might get Well, I, 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 let me just give you a tip for the winter. Yeah. Um, when it starts to get cold like this, it's horrible going to get petrol. Well, yeah. it can go a lot worse than this, it can snow. Oh and yeah, you're not I gonna know, feel yeah. like going and getting it then. So, well, yeah, I know, but... You might not, but I no, don't forget I'm still, younger. I'm, I know, you know you'd I don't still mind. still battle on or whatever. Yeah. But um, but also because your engine is cold. Yeah. Uh, or anything. I mean, you, probably, you're not going to get stuck in traffic. Probably on the best doing or longer trips as well in winter and stuff. And it's so the engine heats up properly. You know what I mean? Well, uh, at, you know, you you do quite a lot of short trips. I know I do quite a lot of short trips. So that's what I'm saying. You have got a new battery in. Yeah. And they may comment on the short trip thing. They may notice yeah. how that affects the engine. Yeah. But um, that's just what we have to do, and that's why we do have to take it for a run yeah. every now and again uh, to a longer, you know, further destination. Right, we'll have to see about this accident that's been on. Yeah, no, it was all here, so. Oh well, it might be alright then. Just uh, watch the end of this road because it can get slippy. Slippy, yeah. Um, so, as I was saying to you earlier on, that I didn't mention to people on video oh. um, about yesterday's sales because they're doing that oh, um, yes. send offers to watchers thing. Yes. So I sent a load of offers to my watchers, didn't I? Yes. That I was telling you yesterday. Yeah, through this function within, function within eBay, is it? Yeah, it's on the um, active items page and essentially I sent loads of offers to uh, literally about 500 items, you know, well, the watchers of 500 of my items so that could have been even more than like 500 people i don't even know but essentially i had like two sales within 10 minutes 20 minutes yeah you came down and i came down and i was like i just had two sales this thing like worked. really works um so i did that and that was pretty cool and then i said to you as well oh i'm gonna get loads of sales later on today and tonight and stuff well i did didn't i and okay i what, what are you doing like blooming trying to hold on for dear life. I know then. it's icy. I know, but it's okay. Yeah. It's, fine. it's not it's not really icy on the road, you're alright. I'm doing the speed limit. I know don't you worry. are, you're not going fast. Exactly. It's... Don't worry so much. You do worry in the car with me. <laughs> I don't worry you in the car. You do I don't worry in the car you with do. you. I just don't I just know that you don't you you know, I uh, You've I've got more, more experience. experience. Yes, <laughs> it is. Very true, it's very true, but yeah. still, you don't I need to worry. I feel safe with you driving. You say Bye. that. Like, you always say, I feel safe with you driving. And then, all the time, when you're in the car, you're clinging on for dear life. You're holding the blooming thing. I just thing. did it then because you were going faster and faster. I around. wasn't going faster and faster. You know, it's bad to break round the corner. It you don't is, break on a corner. I know, and it's bad to hit your brakes when it's icy. Well, so you, you slow down. Don't worry. Right, don't like now so you slow down. No, now you slow down. We're not even near the blooming thing yet. Right, now, here we go. He's probably going to let you go, so I'm going. 
Uh, so yeah, as I was saying, what was that? I forgot what I was saying. Yeah, so we're um, talking about the sales stuff. The sales I would cut that bit out. Well, right. oh no, I'm not. That's 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 humour, that is. Um, no, the sales stuff. So yeah, I got loads of sales overnight and everything. Well, not overnight, but you know, during sort of the evening time. And uh, yeah, I did 246 quid. It was. I did 11 sales, so 246 quid, which is like 20 quid average sale. Yeah. About, about 20 quid, maybe 21 quid average sale. So I was really, right. really happy with that. And I'm gonna use that more. I, I, totally i've used it in the past quite a few times like i said to you but yeah i've i don't use it as often as i should i really should use it a lot more often because it's so powerful that yeah. and a few people a few other resellers have done videos on it over in america in the uk and uh, you know i always forget how powerful it actually is but so, people do bang on about it and it is right to you know it's a yeah. good, good look no system. i think so because you're reaching out to those people that are watching your stuff anyway yeah and saying to them, you know, you don't have to make me an offer or whatever, do you? You're saying sort of like, here you go. Oh, I've got a new sign. Oh, no. I don't know. Um, you know, you're saying, look, you can have it for a little bit cheaper. Yeah. Right, we are here. Awesome, at the Hermes shop. So, I think, using that, um, you know, offers to watch his thing. Yes. Plus using promoted, and you, you know, every now and then using the offer to watch a thing, yeah. running promoted at X percentage, whatever it may be. Yeah. You know, promoted listings that I've done. Yeah. Every now and then doing a sale as well, and all these things. Because I've just got to utilize everything I can at the moment yeah. to get yeah. these sales in, because of these glitches and you know, but with ad and all yes. the rest of it, and eBay just being really, really slow. Yeah. Actually, I heard some people talk about. It might be a server issue or something with eBay. Some of these oh. glitches, like they're migrating to a new server or something. Oh. I don't know. That's what pe bigger. some people are saying. I, I haven't a clue whether it's right or not. But, it, it's, uh... but I'm glad that you know. Hopefully, I'll get some half decent sales over Q4 now. I'm a bit more. I'm a bit more optimistic after yesterday. I mean, there's been a few other good days in Q4 so far, but it's not been like it was last year or the year before so you never know if i if i utilize all the tools i've got to hand i might make it uh pretty decent after all you know it might be all right after all but you know i just feel like it's changed a little bit it feels a little bit more uh slow and it just feels weird this q4 like so many people have said but it's good good that i've got them sales yeah when do you think it'll really start then well, I don't know, this is the thing, as I've said, I've said it on video loads, I mean, I, I really don't know whether it's going to, like, massively kick off or whether it's just going to be a steady thing. Instead of, normally, Q4 is like an exponential curve, like yeah. that, and it peak in December, or sometimes it even peaks in January for some people, yeah. continues on. Yeah. But uh, it's not been like, not we've not seen any sort of, like, real growth in... Um, October. I mean, you don't normally see much growth in October, no. but we're now at the end of November. Well, coming to the end of November, and we're not seeing much. So, or I haven't seen much. So, it's definitely the case. I've got to utilise all these different things to try and uh, so that then I can kind of see a little bit of, of growth, like I normally do. But it's not a case of it just happening naturally anymore, like it was a few years ago. No. It's a case of it, me actually, and other sellers actually pushing it and forcing it to, yeah, to kind start, of do uh, to start do and to do something, something, you know. Whether that be with consistent listing or with you using these tools, like I've said, but it, it's not as natural anymore. It doesn't, and this could be put down for us in the UK with Brexit and stuff. What's he doing there? Is that the learn? Oh no, it's not. It's not even a learner in that car, is it? No. It's not. no. Wasn't beeping at us anyway. No, um, so yeah, uh, yeah, it's just kind of more of a forcing thing now, and it feels less natural. As I say, it might be due to Brexit. I think the but, lights. Are oh, stuck. you're all right. Uh, oh, for you... God's sake! Well, why is the lights off? You're all right. You've let them go. It's fine. Well, if, you'll get if, a space. You'll get a if space. If you didn't say the lights are off, off, we probably would have gone. I didn't want you to. I know. I know. 
Yeah, that's blooming dangerous there, isn't that's it? That's what they're beeping about. People oh, are not people are beeping. Oh, right, that the I get lights it. Are off. Right, I'm going now. Yep, you're fine. Right. You'll get a chance there. See, people can kind of do it by anyway, themselves, can't yeah, they? they? Can. If there's a but it's probably there. more dangerous than the than the having the light. I don't know. Maybe it isn't. You have to test it. Yeah. I suppose we have tested it, and that's why we have traffic lights. It is. I don't know. It is. I guess. Um, but yeah, but it's a global thing, you see, so it can't just be down to Brexit in our country, you know? No. I mean, there is definitely that uncertainty there, and that might be why Q4 hasn't really picked up like crazy. Oh, there for... is so much Yeah, yeah, exactly. But it still doesn't explain it for the rest of the world, so it must be that it's, you know, as we know, it's a, a more of a wide, wider eBay kind of thing, you know? But we just have to see what happens over Q4, and I'm going to kind of report to people in... January how kind of my Q4 was and if it was crap I'll tell people it's crap and if it was good I'll tell people it was good but you know it, now it becomes for me really you know now we're late November trying to salvage what I can from this Q4 and you know hopefully make it okay in the end and then you know as well uh, trying to improve for next year and getting plenty of stuff for next year so that then I can uh, kind of pre-predict what's going to happen I suppose and get on top of the game a bit more because it feels like you need to do a lot more work for the same amount of money, money. Yeah, yeah like a lot more a lot more work for the yeah. same amount of money and I don't know and that's just how it goes everything gets harder in business you know because there's more opportunity so when there's more opportunity well there's not, well, not that much opportunity actually at the moment but there's a lot of opportunity to become a reseller, that's what I mean. So when you've got more people becoming resellers and less demand for products, that's like, oh God, you know, what are you going to do? Because, uh, you know, lower demand, higher supply, that's not a good combination if you're like a, a reseller or something like that. So, yeah. I don't know, do you reckon there are more resellers coming about? I mean, you're not really in the no, I'm front not in of the it, are you? You're not in the game, things. really. But... And there must be some that don't even, they just concentrate on the, the... I mean, you joined the groups to get advice, didn't you? Yeah, there must be... Lots of people I, I... helped you, but um, there must be people out there that don't bother, that think they, you know, can yeah. manage it and sort it out themselves. I don't know, I get... Um, I think it's kind of... I don't think there's as many resellers joining at the moment, but it's an interesting debate, you know, whether... Because mm. we had an influx of loads more new resellers kind of coming in. And, you know, maybe a few months ago, a year ago, maybe it's kind of just tailing off a little bit now. And I think that because there's not as much demand, you know, within the marketplace anyway, customers and all the rest mm. of it, because of this uncertainty, that puts a lot of people off to become resellers. So it depends i mean but if we are in a state of affairs at the moment where there are more new resellers coming in and with the uncertainty of brexit and demand you know products mm. and all that sort of stuff then we're in a bad situation well the existing resellers are in a, bit, a bad situation mm. because you don't have the uh, you know you don't have the same sales and you have more competition and all the rest of it and that might be what's happening at the moment i don't know but i'm just uh, trying to conceptualize it a little bit but i think that um I think because of the environment and because of plastics, I think that the reselling of plastics will will, will uh, pick up because uh, people will get into the swing of um, if you've got some plastic toys for children. Yeah. You you know you do the swapsy thing. Yeah. Oh it yeah. The recycling thing. So A lot of people are talking about. It's that. not one child that's used it. Yeah. You know, it's it's lots of children children that have used it so then you've time. got more of a demand in that kind of yeah uh, in used that area, market in the yeah, used yeah, market. yeah yeah so yeah. i think that's that will make resellers a good yeah good anyway job. we're in now so uh we may as well get out and uh, go and do our stuff so thanks for joining us on the ride in and uh yeah we will see you in the next one see you very soon guys bye